Alrighty guys, what is going on? It is Joseph here, back for another LEGO Star Wars video here today. Today we're going to be talking about some 2022 wishlist and speculation stuff. This is going to be a fun video. Let's get right into it, shall we? Before we get into today's video though, guys, I do want to give a reminder I'm doing a free set giveaway at 1,000 subs. It's either a 501st Battle Pack or an AAT, so please make sure to like and subscribe. So the first wish and idea on my list today is going to be a large Clone Wars capital ship. I know this one might be a little bit unrealistic and kind of hard to achieve for LEGO, but, you know, we know LEGO has the capability to make some really nice large-scale UCS capital ships like they did with the Devastator, which is the Star Destroyer that they did a few years back. And ultimately, I think everyone wants a UCS Venator or even a UCS Invisible Hand would be awesome. I don't think they're ever going to make a Separatist capital ship. They don't really care too much about Separatist sets and stuff, which is kind of sad, but that is what it is. But still, to get something like a Venator, even if it's not UCS, would be awesome awesome. Just a large Clone Wars capital ship would be amazing for 2022. Now the next set I would like to see would be a duel on X-Goal in 2022. I'm not gonna lie, this set is kind of long due. I mean, Rise of Skywalker came out in 2019. By the time 2022 comes out, that'll be like, you know, technically three years since we got the Rise of Skywalker and we still don't have an X-Goal set. Obviously this set would include Rey, Ben Solo, maybe some of these Sith guards, and obviously Emperor Palpatine himself. And to me it's kind of crazy that we don't have this set in Lego form already. I mean it's a dual set, so you know if they want to do a $20 dual set that'd be great. Maybe they could do a bigger one in this case because I feel like it deserves a bigger set. Not to mention it's literally like the ending scene of the entire Skywalker saga. And you know by 2022 it will have been you know about three years since The Rise of Skywalker came out. So kind of crazy to think about that, but still you know I think that it's about time we get this set in Lego form. Moving on, I think we all know how LEGO loves to make original trilogy sets all the time, and rightfully so. I mean, it's popular, it's big, it's part of Star Wars, and you know what? For a good idea, in my opinion, for an original trilogy set, why not try a TIE Bomber? I know they said in the past that, you know, they had some limitations with price, size, you know, playability, all that kind of stuff, and it was just kind of hard to make an affordable, you know, reasonable tie bomber that they wanted to do and they scrapped the idea but i feel like i should try and revisit it i mean it's a great set it's in high demand it's something that we haven't gotten in like you know 20 years and you know i think that you know they've done the scaling down stuff with the x-wing imperial shuttle you know they're going to scale down the slave one they're going to scale down they already scaled down the tie fighter so maybe they can scale down the tie bomber make it more affordable make it realistic and actually give us one because that would be awesome Continuing the trend of old original trilogy sets, I think a new ATST would be nice. I'm not gonna lie. Last time we got one was in 2016, the Rogue One version. And that version is pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, as you can see on screen. So honestly, I really don't know how much they can improve it, but still, to get a new one would be nice, and I think they could definitely do a great job with it. You know, what it would be based on, I don't know, maybe just one of the movies or something like that, so we'll have to see. But ultimately, since then, we've gotten the first Ordi ATSD, which is kind of an abomination, and the ATSD Raider, which is a fine set, but it's based off the Mandalorian, isn't really much of a traditional ATSD, so it is what it is, but still, a new ATSD would be pretty nice to have. Next up, I think all of us would love to see an Attack of the Clones anniversary set, something for its 20th anniversary, which is awesome. And, you know, with LEGO, they don't really do a lot of prequel anniversary stuff, you know, so that's that. But, you know, they do do some anniversaries. They obviously do the original trilogy anniversaries. They do their own anniversaries. And, you know, they do do that kind of stuff. And although they haven't really done any prequel stuff like that before, to get a 20th anniversary Attack of the Clones set would be great. I personally would love to see a new Slave 1. That would be based off Jango Fett's Slave 1. But, uh, you know, the truth is we're obviously getting the Boba Fett Slave 1 this summer, so to get a Jango Fett Slave 1 would be kind of unrealistic in my opinion. I don't know how they do that, but it would be fantastic. And ultimately, I just think maybe something like even a Geonosian Arena or Geonosian Battle Pack or just something related to Attack of the Clones would be great for a 20th anniversary set. Moving on, something else I expect to see in 2022 is at least two to three more Bad Batch sets. We're obviously getting one this summer, but it's based off of the Clone Wars most likely, and it's just the Bad Batch shuttle, so... And that set, in my opinion, is kind of like a must-make for LEGO, and, you know, it's pretty expected, but these two to three Bad Batch sets, you know, we don't really know what they could be. You've seen some Republic attack shows in the trailers, lots of clones, the Omega, like, clone person, I don't even know who that is, but, you know what I'm saying, there's just a lot of cool ideas they could do with the show, and ultimately, I feel like, you know, it'd be nice to get two to three sets and kind of like a small mini-wave for the show coming out in 2022. Next up, I think all of us would love to see OG Battle Packs return. I think that, for one, LEGO knows how popular battle packs are, and two, the $15 battle pack was a great idea, and still is to this day. The $30 Fire Force battle pack was fantastic, but I think just $15 battle packs are just traditional, classic, and really have a legacy in the LEGO community, so something like this to return, that would be great. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a Clone Wars battle pack or anything like that, just any battle pack in general at $15 bucks is great in my opinion. And although, you know, we're not getting them this year, and, you know, that's the way it is, I think getting them next year would certainly be realistic and possible. 
Now, the next thing here is actually rumored, so there's actually a chance that this does end up happening, and that's just going to be any type of LEGO Star Wars CMF in 2022. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is rumored, so, you know, the chances are that this might actually happen, but regardless of whether it happens or not, it's still on my wish list, and I think everyone, and I mean everyone, would love to see a LEGO Star Wars CMF. It doesn't have to be a clone CMF, it doesn't have to be, you know, a Clone Wars, Bad Batch, you know, Mandalorian CMF, just any type of CMF would be great. I know LEGO, you know, might do something kind of a little bit more lame, not as exciting, like maybe an original trilogy CMF, or just something like that, um, but still... Even if it's not based off of anything and it's just completely random, that would be fantastic. Just the idea of having a LEGO Star Wars CMF would be great. And it's something that a lot of people have been hoping for, like myself, for a very long time. So this is really a big one here. After that, guys, I think something that is also pretty realistic to see in 2022 is going to be two to three Book of Boba Fett sets. Obviously, this show is going to be kind of like a mini continuation of The Mandalorian, almost like The Mandalorian Season 3 in some aspects, and it's going to be about Boba Fett. A lot of people love Boba Fett, including myself, and I think that it is realistic, and, you know, it should be expected that we get at least two to three Book of Boba Fett sets, you know. Again, what those could be, who knows? We don't really know too much about the show at all, but still, I'm excited, and I think LEGO can really go a lot of places with these sets. Anyways, though, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's wish list and speculation. Really just kind of basic stuff here, just some early, you know, wish lists and ideas and stuff. And uh, ultimately, I think we're all pretty excited for 2022 and what it holds for LEGO Star Wars. But we still have a long ways to go in 2021, and we don't even know, you know, the full 2021 wave, you know, what's going to come out. We know rumors, and we pretty much have a good idea of what's going to be coming out. But still, we still have to see some set images and all that good stuff. And there's really a lot left to go this year. But I just want to make a video about 2022, talk about some stuff that, you know, could happen, would be nice to see happen. And ultimately, this is a wish list, so, you know, the chances of all this stuff coming true is very low. But, uh, you know, still kind of a fun thing to speculate about. But as always, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.